feel? It was high profile and polarizing. And in the center of it, the lawyer who took on the Gian Gomeshi case and the scrutiny that came with it. To perhaps address some of the misconceptions. In her first interview since Gomeshi was acquitted, Marie Hennon spoke with Peter Mansbridge and took aim at a central controversial question. Was justice served? Uh, justice means that you will be heard and you're guaranteed a fair trial. That is it. But, you know, guaranteed results isn't just. We believe survivors! Nuance, Hennon says, was lost in the noise. Her aggressive adversarial cross-examination fueled protesters but raised enough legal doubt. The judge concluded the complainant's testimony against Gomeshi was too tainted by deception to lead to a conviction. Sometimes the explanations that are given are believed and sometimes they are not. But the system is premised, this legal system is premised on our fundamental belief that if you are going to accuse me of a crime, you will have to prove it. In every criminal trial in Canada, that presumption of innocence is paramount. The onus is on the Crown to prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt. The system is stacked against a successful prosecution. We, are, we have a system where we would prefer a guilty person walk free than an innocent person go to jail. But the Gomeshi trial ignited a debate. Should Canada, like other jurisdictions, treat and try sex crimes differently? The alternatives range from training prosecutors to special tribunals, to lessen the burden of proof, and to address the reality most victims are often too ashamed to tell the whole truth. We have to, again, put these women under a different lens. and under This former sex crimes detective says there's no such thing as a perfect witness. We have to train our, our justice system. Anybody who's involved in the prosecution of individuals who commit sexual offenses, we have to train them to expect that things aren't always going to go perfect. It shouldn't be treated any differently in the sense... But Hennon says the presumption of innocence can't be set aside and says the criminal code has been adjusted to restrict, for example, when prior sexual history can be relevant in a sexual assault trial. Changes that come from deeper debate, she says, than what was on social media during the trial. This is the thing, I guess, that is important to me, is they don't happen on the front page of a paper and they don't happen in 140 characters. The way they happen is in a courtroom. In a high-profile case like Gomeshi's, Hennon says the complexities can get lost in the headlines and says a conversation about how to improve the justice system should continue as long as it's an informed one. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto.